Welcome to the golf course at the Field Lab of KPU Langley Campus. I'm Stan Kazimierczyk, Turf Management Instructor here in our Horticulture Diploma Program. We're standing on number three green at our golf course and here's an example of uh, the type of area that our turf management students will be working on. Uh, care of a golf course involves multifunctional activities. Many people think it's just mowing when in fact mowing is just a small percentage of what we actually do in a golf course. This is the type of area where we'll mow with fine-tuned greens mowers. Uh, the area off over on this side is called a fairway. It's a shortcut turf. This area down here is roughly uh, about one-eighth of an inch long. That's about the size of a nickel, the width of a nickel. And these fairway areas over here, they're mowed roughly between one half inch and three quarters of an inch. Those are mowed with uh, a little bit more advanced and larger equipment. And then the longer areas on the outside, we call that the rough. That's mowed with either rotary or reel equipment at higher heights of cut of one inch to three inches. This large piece of sand here is called a sand bunker or bunker. And this is where it meant there's a penalty for golfers to hit out of. Bunker maintenance is a very important part of golf course maintenance and we'll be dealing with that in our program as well. What we really need from students but thinking about entering this program is several important commitments. First is that golf goes on seven days a week, every day. People pay good money for tee times and they expect this golf course to be maintained perfectly every day. And that can't happen if the staff isn't there every day on time. The shifts start early in the morning. So yeah, you better get ready for early mornings every day that you're scheduled for it, you've got to be there. Whatever your mode of transportation, whether it's yourself, your parents, taxi, it's got to be bulletproof. There cannot be any excuses of I don't feel well. Uh, doesn't matter. You've got to be there every day on time. Get ready for hard work. You're going to be doing some jobs that are riding on nice machines, very comfortable $60,000 machines. You'll be walking other machines all day, you'll be doing backpack blowing equipment, you'll be doing hand labor, you'll be doing hand raking equipment, uh, you'll be digging holes, raking, a whole variety of jobs. Get ready to do whatever is asked of you because it's not your job to say what you demand you're going to do, it's your job to do whatever's required. Get ready to be a team player because you are part of a team. This golf course does not function by one person doing the job. It functions by everybody doing their job individually within a schedule. Get ready to work in all kinds of weather. Beautiful day like today, here's where it's great to be out here. But there's other days that are not so beautiful. You can be working in the cold, you can be working in the snow in off season, in the pouring rain, you can be working in the mud. Get ready for dirty work and be ready to accept it with a smile. And finally, get ready to get along with people. You're part of a team. It's your job to work together with your teammates. It's not about you, it's about the common good. So get ready to make a change in your lifestyle if you're not like that already. Why might you want to work on a golf course? There's a whole bunch of fabulous benefits to doing so. I've been doing so for the last almost 50 years now. Ever since I was about 15, 16 years old, never looked back. Uh, first of all, this is your office. This is where you work. This is what you come to every day. Uh, it's not always beautiful, but many times it is. Just being out in the green is comforting. It's fabulous. Uh, you're with nature all day, whether it's grass or trees or ponds, you're with nature, can't be any better than that. You're responsible for something that's way bigger than most of us. Everybody wants to be sustainable these days. Everybody thinks being sustainable is putting a can in a recycling can. Here, you are responsible for the management of up to 150 acres in a sustainable manner. That's pretty important in today's world. You get to work alone by yourself and enjoy your personal time and you get to work with others in a team. You have a good balance of both. You'll get physical labor, you'll get sitting time, get uh, projects, you'll get uh, mowing time, you get a variety of jobs out here. It's not just one dimensional. If you like sports, uh, generally uh, most golf courses allow their, uh, their workers to golf for free. Beautiful bonus. If you don't play golf already, once you prove yourself as being a hard worker, 
Golf courses will do everything they can to bring you in the fold and help you get clubs for a good price and teach you how to play and uh, give you every opportunity to learn how the game grows. It's a fabulous industry. I've been in it all my life and I love the people. Everybody is willing to drop whatever they do to help somebody else. There's no competition in this industry. We're all together on the same team. Uh, and for your age, it is the best time I've ever seen in my life for getting up and moving up quickly into the industry. You have an opportunity to uh, work hard, prove yourself, potentially come to KPU and do our turf management diploma. That gives you the opportunity to move into a management position at a fairly young age where there's so much opportunity now with a whole bunch of seniors retiring off and everybody moves from within best time ever for moving up within the industry at a very quick pace to those who One of the activities we will likely do during our week of training out at the KPU uh, golf course at the field lab is irrigation repair. Here's an example of the golf course sprinkler. This can shoot water up to 90 feet in radius, uh, deliver up to 40 to 50 gallons per minute of water to cover a very large area. but. There's repairs that occasionally need to be done and one of the things we're going to teach you is how to excavate ahead, put the material neatly aboard and then do the necessary repairs. This is one of the jobs you'll be doing out on a golf course. This is a golf course bunker or sand trap. It's meant as a penalty. It can be anywhere on the golf course from halfway to a hole to right next to a green such as this situation. It's meant as a penalty for golfers. It's a bit more difficult to get the ball out of. But it's very important that we manage and maintain these carefully. What you will learn to do is manage the edges in terms of periodic trimming, of uh, raking by hand around the edges, and with larger bunkers, not ones this small, we've got a mechanized little piece of equipment called a sand probe that comes in and mechanically rakes that. You'll be operating that as well. The machine here is called a sand probe. This is the machine, electric powered, battery powered, that will rake the bunkers that we saw out on the golf course. This is an electric cart. This is one of the basic tools on any golf course that you will use for all minor activities. You'll use how you learn how to operate this as well. This piece of equipment here is called a gator. It's a gasoline powered cart that has a dump bucket. This is more for hauling equipment and material. It can handle up to about 500 pounds of debris in the back and also dump it. It's got very soft tires as well that can enable it to go on turf areas without doing any damage. Once again, along with the electric cart, these are the two staples for getting around the golf course. Surrounded by several of the mowers that we're going to be learning to use on your turf management course. On the shortcut turf, such as fairways, we will be using a five gang piece of equipment like this, real mowers. A smaller three-bladed or triplex reel mowers will also be done on our shortcut fairway turf, which is usually between one half inch and three quarters an inch. For our higher turf, we're going to use one of these pieces of equipment. This is our standard riding uh, triplex rotary. So this is the same blades as on your regular home lawnmower. Very powerful piece of equipment. And then for really tough turf. We can use this piece of equipment back here, which is called a flail mower. It's a totally different type of mowing, and it's able to cut very high, dense grass uh, without doing any damage. Once you get experience at using all the hand tools, all the carts, and all the mowers, and you show your value and your, your boss has trust in you with equipment, then there's a potential that you could eventually move on to bobcat skid steer loaders, or mini excavators like this, or tractors like this that have a variety of three-point implements on them. But once again, that's once you show your value, you're doing everything else first. Here's another piece of equipment you'll be learning to use. It's this backbone of mini golf course. It's a triplex greens mower. Uh, it's a real greens mower, about 60, in, in, 60 inches in width, and the greens that we saw out there, that's what this machine will be operating. Also, all the way around me, you'll see on all walls a whole wealth of hand tools. You're going to be learning to use all these. And to be valuable on a golf course, you've got to be able to use everything here, use it properly, use it safely, and uh, get the job done. One other thing we're going to cover this week is going to be personal skills. That's going to be 
what kind of skills you need to be doing to be successful in the work life, not just on the golf course, but any job in particular. Uh, interpersonal skills, work habits, uh, cleanliness, uh, safety, all these things are extremely important in any job. Um, uh, where your place in is in the organization and how you can move up within any organization or industry. Example of two more important pieces of equipment. We may cover these if we have time. The aerator, this is the machine that's got about a, a three foot swath and it punches many small holes in the turf to allow air and oxygen and water to move through the profile. And then that's usually followed by a top dresser. You fill this hopper full of sand and that evenly distributes sand over turf surfaces to help smooth, deal dilute thatch and make for a better playing surface. Now I want to talk about what type of person is successful in the turf industry. Um, and not just what type of person is attracted to it, but what type of person is successful in it. You've got to love the outdoors. You're going to be outdoors a lot. You've got to love variety. Because contrary to what people think that all we do is mow, well, we do a lot of different things. And you've got to be ready to jump here, learn this, learn that. It's not unusual for a golf course superintendent to do upwards of 30 careers in one day and you're always just hopping from one to the other to the other. So you really do have to be a master of all trades. Uh, you have to be adaptable. You have to be ready to respond to whatever nature gives to you, to what uh, golfers throw at you, to what staff does to you. Get ready to react and to make the best of any situation possible. You gotta wanna work hard. You gotta be passionate about what you're doing. Generally helps to enjoy sports of some type, whether it's golf or soccer or football, just to be out with people. Uh, keeping in mind that everybody that we that uses our facilities is here for recreation. They're here for a good time uh, and, and we're here to make them happy, to give them the best possible playing surface possible. Uh, we, uh, we like to work in all weather and weather does not shy us away at all. We welcome the rain, we welcome the snow, welcome the heat. It's all part of the job. You adapt to it. We welcome early mornings. We welcome adversity. You can handle whatever's thrown at you. It's, uh, it's a physical job at times, but it's also a mental job. You do a lot of thinking as well, thinking on the fly and thinking in books. If you come to school, you will do a lot of thinking and learning about the science of turf management. And this job is for anybody. Uh, we've got young people working at the job. We've got seniors, all age levels. We've got people that have come from other industries. Uh, women in the golf course are very highly valued because they tend to take very good care of equipment that are quite conscientious. And one of our grads actually was the very first female superintendent on a golf course in BC and she's still doing well. We've got quite a few of our female grads that are doing excellent in either golf course management or sports field management. So this profession is for everybody.